YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we are here for our week, whatever it is in the bottom, <laughs> update. Um, and as always, we're going to start with the numbers, which I left my phone, so you're going to but start But this is also us. our goal setting for 2015 update. Right, so I'm going to okay. let you start. Go ahead. Six feet tall, starting weight 320. Um, at the beginning of this year, when we set our goals originally, on January 8th, I was 217.2, I'm sorry, 219.2. Today, a year later, I'm 223.6. So, although for the year, it's like, oh, well, that's not bad. 4.4 up. Actually, the lowest I got to this year was 211.2. That's weird math, though. You said you were 217. No, 219. Oh, 219. Okay, yep. sorry. So, for the year, um, I actually had a fluctuation where I got down to 211.2 and then I've gone up to, and so now I'm at 223.6. So it's actually the highest for my year. So, but if you're like, well, how are, what was your the last week and stuff? Because I don't think we did a video last week. No, we didn't. Um, so basically over the past two weeks, I've actually put on um, about six pounds. So I'm not shocked, like, oh my God, where did that weight come from? I know we take the last two weeks off and basically I've just eaten pure shit. And I've taken that into account when I've assessed what my goals for 2015 are to have realistic goals. So Jen will go with her numbers first, and then we'll talk about the goals we set for 2014, where we ended up, what we're doing for 2015, how we're going to get there. Okay. So I started off this journey at 262 pounds. Um, last time we weighed in, I was 177.4. That was two weeks ago. Then last week I gained a pound of 178.4, and then this week I gained another pound of 179.4. So, um, and if you've been watching, and you're my, still five foot four. Yes, I'm five foot four. And if you've been watching my journey, I had um, my band slipped in March, um, so we had to do a complete unfill, and then it took a while to refill it, and it slipped again, and then I had revision surgery on July 29th to have the lap band repositioned. So I. Um, did real I started off 2014 at 177.6 and I ended up ended 2014 at 179.4. Today is lady time. So um yeah. Gotta we're ladies. We have to, you know, take it where we can get it. So um you know, um approximately the same, two pound difference. So but let's talk about what our goals were for 2014 and how close we did or did not come to hitting them. Do you want to go first or me? Doesn't matter. Okay, so I set two goals. So in 2013, when we first set our goals, I set a um, activity goal and I didn't pick a specific number and I was actually able to reach those goals. So in 2014, when we set our goals for this year, I said, you know what, I'm going to be brazen enough. I'm going to set a number goal. So I said, I'm going to reach my goal weight of 195, and then I was going to exist in a range between 191 and 199. So based on my current weight of 223.6, you can see I didn't come a goddamn near that goal. <laughs> um, like I said, the lowest I got this year was 211.2. So I'm not going to say it was a failure. Um, I mean, yes, if you're measuring objectively, it was a failure. <laughs> but from the perspective of knowing... The, 39 years of my life, how my weight has been, um, I'm still happy that I've been able to maintain a very healthy lifestyle. Um, so the number goal, right in the shitter. That did not happen, without a doubt. So I'm not even trying to fake it like, oh, I did great. No, I shitted that one up beyond belief. But the, the um, activity goal I set which was to, originally we thought it was to complete a 10K. When we went back to the tape, it said to run a 10K. And so I'm happy to report I did run a 10K the entire time. Over and a bridge. It was uphill. That was the, Twice. the son of a bitch of it all. It was, and it seemed exciting. Like, oh, look, it's over a bridge. Bridges actually go up and then come down. So when you start it, you're like, oh, yeah, you know, rising up, back on the street. Holy shit. When you're five miles in and then you have to go back up the bridge, you are cursing everyone. So, but I'm happy to report I ran the 10K start to finish. Um... My total time was 72 minutes and 27 seconds, and I ran at an average pace of 11 minutes and 40 seconds a mile. So I was very happy about that. Very so proud of that. I met my fitness goal. Um, did no, not no, meet no. the weight goal. You crushed your well, fitness goal. 
I'm gonna really try to talk up the fitness because I shit it up the weight one so badly. Come on. <laughs> no, but that's okay though, because like I said, I'm I'm happy where from a health perspective I ended up. Um, but for 2015, I am going to set a new weight goal. Wait, hold on. From a health perspective, got our labs back. Yes. Your labs are perfect. Yep. So all that worked out. Um, now mine beat his. If that's okay. Of course. But we'll go on to mine. Go ahead. Um, so I'm going to set a uh, a fitness goal that in 2015 I want to run two 10Ks. I'm not going to commit to the half marathon or full marathon. I think you people are nuts. Um, I love you, but you're nuts. But I am going to do two 10Ks. Um, and then from a weight goal perspective, I am going to, I want to get to below 210. So I'm at 223.6. And like I said, the lowest I got to in 2014 was 211.2. I know I can get back there again, and I want to beat it. So I want to get to below 210. Even at 209.8, and I stay there, that would be great. So that is my new weight goal for 2015. And I know you will get it. Thank you. Um, so my 2014 goals um, were based on um, my lap band working the entire time and not breaking it. Are we doing product placement? Okay, so I'm like, he's drinking a beer? What? No. no. I mean, it made light. So I had set three mini weight goals for the 2014 year. The first mini weight goal was to get to 174 by February 19th. And 174 was important because that would take me from obese to overweight on the BMI chart. And I did meet that goal. On um, And I actually had gotten down to 169.6 by March 5th. Um, and if you actually go back and watch my first January video, I talk about how great my fill is and... The restriction yes. perfect. Yes, which is why um, March 5th, I'm down to 169.6 because my band was too tight and I ended up slipping it. So I spent a lot of time unfilled um, and then refilled and then slipped and then surgery, which means you're unfilled. So um, I met, I crushed the first goal of 174 by February 19th. My next goal was 162. That would be a full 100 pounds lost. Um, did not make that goal. The lowest I got was, I think, 168 point something after the revision surgery. So did not crush the 162 goal. And then my year-end goal was 155 and utter failure on the 155 <laughs> goal. So, um, yeah, not so much. Um, I didn't count on breaking my lap band. Um, so that did set me back a little. I, I could have hit the 162 even with a broken lap band because it was fixed for enough of the year that, um, so that's on me. Um, but most people would say, God, that's horrible. You slipped your band or I hope that never happens to me. Well, you know what? I learned so much from that. I understand now what good tight feels like versus bad tight. I understand. I listen to my band so much more. I now can eat food and understand exactly how slow I need to be so that I don't get stuck. So it was definitely a learning experience. Thank God we have insurance because that would have been a very expensive learning experience. But, so I didn't meet my goals. So for 2014, sorry, for 2015. Oh, and at week 93, I made a fitness goal. And that was to, while Brad was doing his time 10K for me to do a time 5K. And I made the bold goal of the whole 5K um, in 31 minutes, which would be a 10 minute mile. And then I said, but by all means, it'll be under 33 minutes, absolutely. Those and goals were made prior to realizing that it was over a bridge and it's uphill. If you've never run on hills, if you've only ever run flat surfaces and then you go uphill, you're moving your arms and your legs, but you're not going anywhere, it was awful. So, I did complete it in 32 minutes and 40 seconds. I ran a 10 minute, 31 second mile, which I'm very proud of mm -hmm. because I was not prepared for the uphill twice. Um, so, I am happy with that. I will check that off for meeting that goal. For 2015, um, here are my goals. I want to get back to 174, so stop being obese and be back to being mm -hmm. overweight by the end of February. My second goal is to not exceed 174 for the rest of the year. So basically my unannounced goal for 2014 was to not be in the 180s again. And I was 180 one time, 51 out of the 52 weeks I was not in the 180s. Um, but one day I was, one way in week. So I do not want, I want to get under 174 
for the rest of the year. And if I were going to put a number goal on it, I would like to see 162 by the end of the year because I would like to hit the full 100 pounds lost. And it's not just about, oh yeah, we lost 100 pounds. That is my lowest weight I got to in my adult life is 162. And I would love to see that again. So I'm not saying I'm finished at 162. I'm saying I failed miserably at my number goal in 2014. Maybe I need to be a little more realistic in 2015. So. That is my goals for 2015. Okay. And those were my goals. So, what else is there to talk about? I want to say, let me do a quick off-the-subject product plug. Um, I have not tried these yet. But if you like jerky. Ah, uh, yes. There is a company, Tonka Bars. They are buffalo jerky. Spell it. T-A-N-K-A. I saw Nirvana and Heather from The Pretty Losers do a review on this, and they were loving it. So um, I am the president of the Florida chapter of WLSFA, contacted Tonka Bars. I'm like, listen, I heard about this from Nirvana and Heather. Could you send us some for our auction and for samples? And they said, yes, they will. And so I want to let you know what a great company they are. Try them. We will be trying them. Brad will be reviewing them when he tries yes. them. Yes. He's very excited. I don't do jerky and buffalo scares me, so he'll be trying mine. But um, but yeah, I think that's it. We are going to get back on track. We were not here last week. It was Christmas Day. It just didn't happen. But are we going to commit? We're putting our hands in and like doing a go team. Um, Jackass. Thanks. <laughs> um, but yes, mm -hmm. I really, I just got a fill today. Um, I'm slightly concerned because I got a fill three weeks ago. And we do it under fluoro now because we can't trust me um, to know exactly how good or bad it is. And so we did a fill three weeks ago, and then I got an aggressive fill today under fluoro. And then the doctor said, yes, it was totally fine that I was, you know, completely opened up. So I'm hoping with this fill that we are going to kick some fat asses for real this year. That 2015 is going to be the year that we thought 2014 was going to be. So. Indeed. I think that's it. Anything else? I don't think so. We're gonna we're gonna crush it this year, right? True that. 2015, Jen. I'm talking to you. We gotta do it this time. So that is it. We love your faces. We hope you all are big losers, and we will see you next Wednesday. And I want to see your. I want to hear your goals, or type them below, or or make a video, or whatever. Let me know. And if if I'm not subscribed to you, please let me know because I try to subscribe to everybody that subscribes yep. to me. So let me know what your goals are and good luck with it. And I hope you have a happy and healthy and safe new year. Absolutely. Yeah. And don't worry, I'm not on the road. So that's a little <laughs> bit safer for everybody. Bye, Great YouTube. Night, YouTube. Bye. Take care.